How's it going everybody? So we're out in the shop and in this Sunday episode I'm doing something a little bit different than what I planned. So we were going to be working on the Insanity builds. I'll tell you why we're not doing that in the outro, but it, it'll make sense whenever you actually listen to the outro part of this. But what we are going to focus on today is doing something I've wanted to do for a while. So I've got a whole bunch of these little blanks that I cut out a while back. They're just little blanks that I, I used to make these little EDCs right here. Cool little EDCs. I, I've got a video or a series or something like that making these. I'll find that and I'll put it in the description below so if you want to see this actual process you can watch that. But these right here, I've got a whole bunch of them and I've thought about doing this like I said for a while. I want to see if I take and I forge these how far can I stretch them? So if I was to do distal tapers, forge in the bevels, you know, do a taper on the tang and do all that stuff, could I stretch out this little three finger knife? Because like right now, it just goes to the first three fingers right there. And it's just a small blade. I was wondering if I forged in tapers and bevels and did all that stuff with it, how far could I stretch these out? So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to keep the actual shape that it is right now. I'm going to forge everything out, do distal tapers, do all that stuff, bevels and everything. I'm going to see how far I can stretch out this profile. Then on this other one, I'm going to take and I'm going to forge out the sharpening or the, the finger twirl right here. I'm going to flatten this whole area, stretch this out and see how far I can stretch this little four and three quarter inch blank out to. So that's what we're going to do in this one. Let's go ahead, hop on the forge and get to hammering.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Now on this outro, I'm gonna focus more on the one that I kept the actual profile of the original blade. And then I might show y'all in the outro of this outro, <laughs> the other one. So this right here is what we were able to do. We were able to forge it out and turn this four and three quarter inch piece of material into six and an eighth inch long piece of material. We were able to do our distal tapers all the way through the tang and all the way through to the tip. Get a nice profile out of that and turn a three finger knife into a four finger knife. So definitely a little bit larger EDC and I mean I, I love the smaller ones but being able to have this out of this material is awesome and getting more practice in with my forging. I love this whole entire process here. Let me see if I can, there we go. So this is completely flat. There is not a single hammer strike left in this. I'm really, really, really excited with the practice that I'm able to put in with the forging because with doing the distal tapers and all that stuff, I mean, I was hammering on this with the, the horn and everything and pinching a ton of it and putting tons of hammer marks in there, but being able to take and slowly work those back out so that I have the least amount of work to do on the grinder to make sure that this is nice and you know clean and ready to be finished. Uh, I'm super happy with just the practice I'm able to put in and the skills that I've learned in the process. This was not anything crazy. I didn't do anything super out there. Y'all could easily do stuff like this, but all it takes is taking something that was already a scrap knife and turning it into a larger knife just while practicing your forging. So I wonder what y'all think. Y'all do y'all like this overall size? Do y'all like a little bit of that? Do y'all like the distal tapers going through there? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Now, when it comes to the other one, I'm, I'm not a, a, as much of a fan of the overall profile of it. I like the profile of this one, but it's not a bad profile. It's just not exactly what I like. And I might, I might like it more once I put a little bit of work on the 2x72 and refine the profile of this one. But this was more just to see if I could still have a decent thickness at the spine still do my distal tapers, but how much could I stretch out this four and three quarter inch piece? Well, I was able to stretch it out a total to seven inches long. So now we've got a handle that goes past my hand right there and a decent sized blade. But again, not a bigger fan of this profile, but I will show y'all a time lapse of this in the outro of the outro but <laughs> that's crazy we were able to do something still keep a decent thickness not make it paper thin and forge in our bevels do more practice with our hammer strikes and hammer control really good one but again I really like this one and I'll probably end up finishing this and making an EDC out of that so that's gonna be pretty cool guys y'all let me know what y'all thought about this I want to know again do y'all think that this overall process was worth it? Do you think I should have just kept doing these little guys right here, which are still cool and I will still do them, but you know I mean? We were able to do this instead. So pretty cool. Guys, the reason why I didn't do the Insanity Builds this, or this episode was because the finished work is taking a lot longer than what I thought. I was only gonna have about six hours, three hours a day on Friday and Saturday to do hand sanding and etching and hand sanding and all that. And I'm gonna need like 20 hours to finish that. So I'm gonna be releasing that episode on Friday. It's a lot of work that's gonna go into it, but they are gonna look amazing. I hope we'll see how that goes. But guys, there you go. If y'all would, give this video a thumbs up, share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because we have a lot coming up. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I will catch y'all next time. But before that, let's roll a little time lapse. Bye, guys.